Are you ready to learn and be amazed? Let's explore the world of English. I'm Teacher Wilfred. You and I will learn together. One of the characteristics of children of your age is being playful. We all agree that all study without play will make John a dull boy. Playing is a rich source of fun, exercise, and good social experiences. Oftentimes, when you play outdoors, you do a lot of different movements. These movements basically are verbs. Verbs are words that sell actions, and actions are an interesting part of one's vocabulary list. You have probably noticed that verbs are often used in most sentences. Our today's lesson is all about composing clear and coherent sentences using aspects of verbs. This module is designed to master the skills that you can use in many different learning situations. It comes with a pre-test and a post-test that will assess previous knowledge and acquired learnings of the pupils. Key answers are also given for the learners to use. As you go through, you are expected to enhance your knowledge and understanding in using aspects of verbs. This lesson will help you develop your abilities in coping with the problems brought by the life's challenges. As learner of this module, you are expected to First, name aspects of verbs according to uses. Second, identify the appropriate aspects of verbs to be used. Third, use the appropriate aspects of verbs in a sentence. And fourth, compose clear and coherent sentences using aspects of verbs. Let us see how well you know the lesson by answering this activity. Directions. Choose the letter aspects of verbs used in the following sentences. Number one, mangroves served as natural filters against pollution. A. Mangroves. B. Serve. C. Against. D. Pollution. Number two, the rain fell on the green valley. A. Rain. B. Green. C. Valley. D. Fell. Number three, we will continue to inspire people of all ages. A. Will continue. B. Continue to inspire. C. Inspire people. D. All ages. Number four, the shark swam through the ocean. A. Ocean. B. Through. C. Shark. D. Swam. And number five, she had been singing four hours. A. Had been. B. Been singing. C. Had been singing. D. Had singing. Does your memory serve you right? Last year, you tackled basic types of verbs. Let us have some recall. Directions. Read carefully the story below and list down all verbs used. Write your answer in your answer sheet. Johnny loved playing soccer, and he played very well with his neighborhood friends. He made perfect passes, dribbled with great skill, and kicked goals with a precision that caused tremors to the most tenacious goalkeepers. One day, Johnny was playing with his friends when a coach of a major soccer team saw him and offered him the opportunity to play on his team. After that, Johnny was feeling very enthusiastic. But when he finally played with the team, he found that the other guys on the team were playing much better than him. So it was not so fun after all. Johnny decided that he liked better to play with his neighborhood friends, where he was always the best player. Nowadays, every time a coach comes to offer to be part of his team, he says, No thanks, I am good here playing with my friends. And now, you are ready for a new lesson. Directions. Study carefully the sentences given in column A to match the pictures in column B. Select the letter of your answer and write it in your answer sheet. Number 1. Children have been playing all day. Number 2. Leah has eaten an apple when her brother arrived. Number 3. Jerome runs very fast. Number 4. Martina's family had been biking before the pandemic. 
And number five, Kathy is planting in the backyard. Are you ready to unfold and enjoy this week's lesson? Great! Let's do this, kids! Aspects of verbs The aspect of a verb is determined by whether the verb expresses a fact, an ongoing action, a completed action, or the end of an ongoing action. This is simpler concept than it sounds. Look at this infographic. Aspect Let's start with simple aspect. Simple aspect expresses a fact. For example, rubber eats bones. Eats is in simple aspect form. Next is perfect aspect. Perfect aspect expresses a completed action. For example, rubber has eaten a bone. Has eaten is in perfect aspect form. Next is progressive aspect. Progressive aspect expresses an ongoing action. For example, rubber is eating a bone. Is eating is in progressive aspect form. And the last one is perfect progressive aspect. Perfect progressive aspect expresses the end of an ongoing action. For example, rubber has been eating a bone. Has been eating is in perfect progressive aspect form. Learners, what do you notice about the infographic that was shown? Good job kids! The infographic shows the different senses of verbs. Let us study the chart to learn more. Senses. Let's start with present tense. In present tense, we have simple aspect. For example, she writes. In perfecting aspect, she has written. In progressive aspect, she is writing. In perfect progressive aspect, she has been writing. Next is past tense. In simple aspect, for example, she wrote. In perfecting aspect, she had written. In progressive aspect, she was writing. In perfect progressive aspect, she had been writing. Next one is future tense. In simple aspect, she will write. In perfective aspect, she will have written. In progressive aspect, she will be writing. In perfect progressive aspect, she will have written. Let's study further the four aspects of verbs. Here are some more examples of the four aspects. Number one, simple aspect. Simple aspects simply indicates that actions or states of being happen in four ways, which include the following. Now, in the present time. Yesterday, sometime in the past. Tomorrow, sometime in the future. And habitually, over and over again, across time. Here are the examples. Letter A. Mike writes legibly. What is the tense of the underlined verb? Very good, kids! In simple present tense. Letter B. Children played basketball yesterday. What is the tense of the underlined verb? Good job, kids! In simple past tense. And letter C. Catherine will perform in town after the pandemic. What is the tense of the underlined verb? Great! The answer is in simple future tense. Number 2. Perfect aspect. Perfect aspect is verb tense which shows action that has been completed before a specific time in the past, present, and in the future. Basically, the perfect tense emphasizes that an action has been completed at the time the statement is made. Here are the examples. Letter A. Gretchen has prepared dinner before Brian arrived home. What is the tense of the underlined word? Good job, kids! It is in present perfect tense. Letter B. John had caught two mackerel before the seals arrived. What is the tense of the underlined word? Good job, kids! In past perfect tense. Letter C. By the end of the show, the band will have performed five songs. 
what is the tense of the underlined word? Gray. The answer is future perfect tense. Number three, progressive aspect. Progressive aspect show actions happening continuously now, in the past, or in the future. The structure to form this verb tense is be verb plus verb ing. Here are the examples. Right now, Jeffrey is reading his Bible. What is the tense of the underlined verb? Very good kids, present progressive. Letter B. John was fishing when the seals arrived. What is the tense of the underlined word? Great! Past progressive. And let us see. Gretchen will be playing for the team tomorrow. What is the tense of the underlined word? Good job, kids! In future progressive. Number four. Perfect progressive aspect. Perfect progressive aspect combines both the perfect and the progressive tense to show action that has continuously been happening before another action happens, happened, or will happen. It is formed by combining auxiliary verb has, have, had, will have with the verb been and verb ing form. Grammatical pattern of has, have, had, will have plus been plus verb ing. Letter A. The pupils have been solving math problem before their class teacher came into the class. Have been solving is in present perfect progressive. Letter B. John had been fishing successfully before the seals arrived. Had been fishing is in present perfect progressive. And letter C. I will have been working on my project when the rain stopped. Will have been working is in future perfect progressive. After exploring the ideas and concepts of aspects of verbs, how about a short practice exercise? Directions. Select the best verb form from the given choices. Write your answer in your answer sheet. Number one, Anna Blanc here in Manila last year. A moved, B had moved, C will move, D moves. Number two, by tomorrow, I blank the remaining pages of my storybook. A. Read. B. Had read. C. Will read. D. Reads. Number three. They blank in the province for more than 10 years. A. Are leaving. B. Have lived. C. Will have lived. D. Will live. Number four. J. Blank a bike for a long time. A. Has been wanting. B. Is wanting. C will want, D are wanting. Number five, while he blocked for the bus, it rained. A is waiting, B was waiting, C will be waiting, D are waiting. There are four aspects of verbs. Simple aspect, perfect aspect, progressive aspect, and perfect progressive aspect. All these aspects of verbs indicate actions which happen in present, past, and future. Simple aspect uses the simple tenses. Perfect aspect shows action that has been completed before a specific time. Progressive aspect shows action happening continuously. And perfect progressive aspect combines both the perfect and progressive tense to show action that has continuously been happening. It has a grammatical pattern of has, have, had, will have, plus been, plus verb ing. You have learned the aspects of verbs and their forms and uses. Let's see how well you can do it. Complete the sentence using correct form of verb in each sentence below. Choose your answers inside the parentheses. Write your answer in your answer sheet. To assess our lesson for today, do this activity. Fighting COVID-19 is everybody's concern. Thus, as a pupil, you can also cooperate and share things to stop the spread of the coronavirus. For our additional activity, answer this. Complete the following sentences based on your observation about the pandemic using the given aspects of verbs. 
Write your answer in your answer sheet. Example, I always wash my hands in simple aspect. Here are the key answers. I think you are now ready for the next lesson. I hope that you will always remember the things that you have learned today. Always remember that learning is fun. Once again, this is Teacher Wilfred, your English 5 teacher, saying thank you and always keep safe. Bye!